Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I'm back on some Dark Souls 2. The legend never dies. Alrighty, well, the first thing I want to say is I want to apologize for not uploading for the last couple days. I've been kind of busy, so sorry about that. But we should be back on schedule now, and I'm going to try to, you know, once again, release an episode every single day if possible. Alright, so... In the last episode, I was asking about where the fuck is the gargoyle area? Because I really couldn't remember. And then by the end of the episode, I remembered. But it was too late. You know, everybody already commented to let me know, like, where it was. So, yeah, you know, sorry about that. It's going to happen throughout this playthrough, though. So, you know, keep that in mind. But, yeah, I have to come down here and I have to use a lockstone to open up this area. Now, I'm going to actually join this covenant and talk to this guy, I guess. And by the way, I'm offline. I did that on purpose. I do not want to do any PvP. I'm sorry. I just don't. I doubt I'll be invaded, to be honest with you. But just in case, I went offline. Because I'm a pussy. I'm dead. I'm dead. He lets up our bell. The great bell of Arkham. The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Me and my chums, we shall be met. Stay back all your pieces. Tiny pieces. <laughs> A long, long, long time ago, the princess, she made me. Yes, just like so. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul and dead, or you'll be a goner. <laughs> Stay back! It belongs to the princess, it do! <laughs> you wish to guard the bell, you do. For the prince, for the princess, forever, for true. Okay, let's do it. You know how you can tell whenever an NPC is going to stop talking is when they do the creepy laugh. Every single NPC in like all the Dark Souls games, I'm dead serious, it's almost guaranteed. So many of them will stop talking when they're laughing. It's like it's kind of bizarre. In Oaken, the bell of the princess. In then, the bell of the prince. Yes! Tear him to shreds, tear him to bits. Gather around and ring the bell swift. We've been ringing this bell forever, we have. <laughs> you know, I do like the fact that in this covenant... What ends up happening is that you can... I think you can hear the bell being rang. Actually, you know, maybe I'm tripping. Once again, man, Dark Souls, it's confusing me. And by the way, this guy is so overpowered. I'm not going to summon him, probably. But this dude... Oh, God, that scared the fuck out of me. I'm like, dude, I thought I was offline. But, um... Yeah, where the fuck is this asshole at? Uh, give me this item. I don't remember what I was talking about now. Crap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dark Souls 1. You can hear the bell being rang. I, I don't know if you can in this one. It would make sense, but who knows? Could be tripping. Um, I'm pretty sure the guard is up by the bell. Maybe that motherfucker stays up there. I'm not sure. 
So I shouldn't just like stay down here camping. This is a really small area though. But the boss is kind of BS in this area. I've always hated this boss because it's so lazy what they did. Basically, it's the Gargoyles fight from Dark Souls 1, which was a really cool gank fight. You know, is it the best fight ever? No. But it's a fine fight for what it is, you know. Oh my god, they hit hard. And in this game, they was like, oh, let's do that again. But what do they do to make it, like, cooler? Nothing. They just make it so that instead of there being two Gargoyles, now there's, like, eight of them, which is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, God. Ah, just die! God, these guys are strong, man! And I know there's an invader. Yeah, there he is. Oh, my God, that looks so goofy. All right, let's do the combo. Oh, I can do the full combo now. By the way, I'm using... Ow! Get away! I'm using the Bastard Sword because... Here's the thing. I talked about this already, that uh, there was a there's a good chance that... I'm going to have to reuse some weapons. Basically, I ran out of the ability to upgrade weapons right now. So the plan in this episode actually... Just freaking die! There we go. The plan in this episode is to actually get to the Iron Keep area. And I messed that up so bad. I'm trying to get to the Iron Keep area because... The blacksmith's daughter is somewhere around one of those areas going to the Iron Keep. At least, I think? I kind of don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. And the point is, is that if I go there, then what's going to uh, happen is I think I can then just buy unlimited Titanite shards, which I don't have access to yet, so I can't upgrade any weapons anymore. And I think my next weapon, my next fresh weapon, might end up being the Claymore. Because, Sebastian, I know you've been commenting in every single episode, you know, asking me to use the Claymore. Thing is, I don't have the weapon yet, so because I don't have the weapon, I can't really use it. And even if I could go get it, the problem with that is, yeah, uh, I can't upgrade it. So I don't want to go grab it for no reason. All right, let me actually... I'm going to homer boner because I want to get my stuff back. And I'm just going to run to the boss because I don't like this boss and I have, like, no potions. So, I'm going to cut this ahead and I will see you guys in a moment. You know, you would think that you would get in trouble with this covenant if you actually ring the bell. Since that's the whole idea is that you protect the bell tower and make sure that people can't ring the bell. I find that kind of bizarre. That they don't actually kick you out. Because the Forest Covenant... Oh my god! Jesus! Move! Out of my... Oh, don't you... Ah! Little midgets, man! Oh, my bad. I mean, exceptional little people. I didn't mean to say the M word there, but... I'm pissed! I'm sorry! Like... Jesus. All right. Just die. Wombo combo, baby. Let's go. All right. Well, that was ridiculous. You know, I don't think this is a hard boss by any... Uh, why Why am I already talking shit? Like, am I that stupid? Oh, yeah, I'm that stupid. I'm that stupid. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. This boss so easy. It is, though. All right. It's not hard. Okay, it is. Uh, I take e back every word I fucking said. I'm pretty sure they're not on a timer, though. They're on a health-like thing, so... Oh, they fly, too. Oh, that's so dumb. Yeah, I forgot about that. They fucking fly, man. Oh, no, it's on a timer. Actually, no, no, it's not. They're on a health thing. It's like every half health. That's so... From soft. Like, this was, like... This is one of the worst bosses. It really is. Just because of the annoying factor. It's like, come on, man. This game does this a lot, too. It's it's fairly frustrating. It's like, they put out... They put so many ganks in this game. 
and they're not good ganks. They're like stupid ganks. But in fact, I'm pretty sure like almost a majority of the bosses, like at least it's 50-50 or something like that, are ganks in this game. And this is one of them. I know there's like double dragon riders. There's like that really ridiculously easy boss of like the village people, okay? Oh my God! So dumb, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and like go over every single gank, but there's a lot of them, okay? There is a lot of ganks in this game and it's just freaking stupid that that's what they do, you know? Okay, I switched weapons, by the way. I went to the great sword because I'm hoping maybe this hits harder to kill these fucking things quicker. I don't know. It's annoying though. Like it's like I that's the thing. Like I gotta I gotta murder them fast. God man, that stupid vertical attack they do, that's really frustrating me right now. Like, cause it's hard to avoid that. Like they keep connecting with me. Oh god, it's like I'm guaranteed to be hit almost every freaking time. I really don't want to use these, but whatever. Actually, it really doesn't matter. They give you more than enough. Yeah, that's much better. Four hits is all it takes. I'll definitely take that any day of the week. All right, so let's focus this one down. Stupid assholes flying, man. Yeah, oh my god. Ah, it's so annoying. It's so freaking annoying. Just die, bro. Nice. All right. I'm telling you, man, great sword is the shit. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Ah! Get off my back! All right, all right, all right, come on. No! Ah! Ah! Let me be! Yeah, get poked! Die! Okay, man, this weapon is awesome. Like this weapon is so awesome for this. I'm loving it. All right. Yeah, bitch! Back up, back up. Alright. Oh my god. It's so nice. It's so nice, dude. Alright, we gotta kill him quick. Get out of here. Let's back up the fuck away and heal. Actually, are we on the last gargoyle? I think we are, yeah. Awesome. Alright. Well, freaking. Of course you're still alive. Of course. Do I have a firebomb or something to just throw at you? You know what? I'm gonna kill you one-handed. Let go. All right? Uh, bitch. Hey, that one never woke up. Oh, okay. I guess multiple of them don't wake up. Well, whatever. So, I don't really remember what's the reward for doing this stupid fight. This is a fight that most of the time I would probably say you should probably skip just because it's frustrating and not because it's really difficult because it's not hard. You know, as you can see, like I did on the second attempt and it was a lot easier with the great sword, faster sword, man. It's like, I don't know that that weapon is great. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's some shit down there. In fact, I remember that area down there being some bullshit, but the Bastard Sword, I do like the weapon a lot. It's just like the range of that weapon is kind of not good. Like, that's something about the Claymore. Okay, it looks like we're going to put the Bastard Sword back on, actually. <laughs> Fuck those dogs, dude. Are you fucking serious? That's a lot of dogs. Okay. If I would have freaking backstepped off the cliff, I would have been so mad. I'm pretty sure. Isn't there like an invader, too, that spawns here? Or some bullshit. There's some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Just fucking die. Doggy death, dude. Just die. Nice. All right, bitch. Let's go. Oh, backstep, backstep. Yes. What the fuck is up? All right. Get the fuck up, bitch. What up? How you doing? How you like my little combos and shit? Come on. Come on. Dude, you are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck was he aiming at? Okay, well, that was easy. Uh, let's... Oh, more dogs. Well, at least I hear him. There he is. Alright, let's pick this up. And hey! Dragon Tooth. Hmm. I kind of want to use 
use that actually? Let me see. Can I wield it? It's gonna be heavy as fuck, that's for sure. But I can put the great sword on, and that's heavy as fuck. Ooh, man, that default thing. 50 strength! Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to wield this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna wait on that one. Um, I have no idea, like, what would be the requirement of strength to two hand it. I, you know, maybe I will upgrade my strength a little bit. Alright, so back to Majula, and we are. I'm not gonna explain it, honestly, because it's too complicated, but we need to basically talk to the girl to turn the turntable to head to that one area, and then eventually head to another area, and then eventually head to the Iron Keep or some bullshit. That's where we're going. So I will see you guys in a moment. Hey, look at this. I actually can use it now. I went ahead and got my strength up to 32. It cost me everything, though. I had to use all of the souls I had on me, which, to be honest, I don't think there's any boss soul I need. I can always bonfire aesthetic anyway, so it's really not a big deal. All right, let me go ahead and grab this shield. I also have to pay this girl, which I hope I have enough souls. It's not going to be a problem if I don't, though, because I could probably get them from, like, just farming these enemies in the Heights Tower. All right, so there's a shield somewhere around here that I missed. Somebody pointed this out, and I remember it. Where the fuck is it, though? I know that it's, like, by a wall. It's in a ch Yeah, there it is. All right. Let's take this. Hopefully, I have enough souls. It could cost 2,000. I have a feeling it's going to cost me 2,000 to open up this path. Which, technically, I think you could just kill this girl and open it up yourself. All you need is the item, I think. But still, like, it doesn't matter. All right, let's talk to her. Oh, hello there. An honor to see you again. This room is not as it seems. There are two, not one, pathways leading out. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? Okay, let's do this. 2,000, I knew it! Ugh. No need for miracles. The gods frown upon such soul scrimpers. Okay. Well, I'll be back. I'm gonna go get the 300 souls I need, I guess. And I will see you guys in a moment. How is this a miracle? Like seriously, didn't she just press the fucking button? Thank you for pressing Go the button. Ahead. Yeah, oh, see you later. Done so soon. Okay. Man, this area, this is the beta area, I'm pretty sure. So a lot of people are, you know, pretty familiar with this place. But I think it's, what is it, Huntsman's Cock or something like that? I know I always called it that. I think it's Huntsman's, uh, Cope? Or, or is it Cop? It's something like that. It's a weird freaking word, man. I don't know. All right, um, I know that there's an area you can fall down into, and it's, like, butterflies down there and shit. It's really wild. Oh, that's right. This guy's here. What's up, bro? I don't know who you are, but believe me, B. The frailty of the wind disrupts. The dark. Leave me alone. I'm interested in one thing, dark, and you haven't the gift. Leave me, I'm- Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, that's interesting, actually. I'm trying to remember, like, how do you even, like, interact with that guy? Eventually you can. But that's not the right guy, is it? No, okay. That is not the right guy. I'm thinking of the Dark, like, Covenant. That's not him, though. That's the, uh, Dark Magic guy. So, like, to talk to him, I think you have to have, like, you know, you have to have some intelligence, and you have to have some faith, something like that. And then you could talk to him. And, yeah, I mean, like, basically, the most overpowered thing in Dark Souls 2 by far was always the Dark Magic. Oh, God. It was the, uh, this is the room, isn't it, where you can fall down? 
Oh, I'm stupid. Freaking poison, man. Mm. Okay, now that's a death down there, so we don't want to go down there. Uh, but yeah, so Resonant Soul. That was the name of the spell. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, God. Ugh. Ah, I can't even kill it, man. But uh, yeah, Resonant Soul. That shit was so freaking good, man. And they nerfed it. And it still is really freaking good. Um, even though they nerfed it. But man, when this game first came out, that shit was so amazing. Oh god, oh god. You know, one thing about Dark Souls 3, it's one of the things I kind of hate for PvP, but I love it in PvE, is the awesome poise that you get with the heavy weapons. That's really the big problem with them in this game. Is that you don't get the freaking poise. Oh my god! Die, man. What? The guy doesn't break down the door in this version? That's wild, man. That's like an iconic thing with this game. Oh my god, stop shooting me. All right, we're dropping down. First of all, to kill this stupid bastard. Jesus, man. The ranged enemies in this game are brutal. They really are. All right. I wanted to plunge attack, man. Why does every guy drop shit? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, this weapon, holy shit, this thing hits hard as fuck. Like, I seen it pop up with, like, 800 when I smacked one of those stone knights or whatever. That was nuts, dude. Really crazy. It was, it was almost 900 damage. So, yeah. God, there's so many of these dudes. It's ridiculous. That's one of the biggest problems with Dark Souls 2 is just the lack of poise in the game. Like, there's just no poise at all. Because, you know, that was a big problem in Dark Souls 1 was the insane amount of poise that you could get. Uh, especially with, like, things like Havel's armor. It was freaking ridiculous. And everybody basically would exploit that. And, yeah, I mean, like, it was awesome, though. It was awesome. And in Dark Souls 3, with the heavier weapons, you get the free poise... So, you know, that's kind of nice, too. All right, um... Hey, whip guy, are you going to try to attack me? I, I guess not. Okay. Well, I kind of remember there being a big guy up there, but I think that's in the base game. And I guess they removed him. All right, so I did all that for... What was... What did I just get? A life gem? Yay, cool! All right, maybe he breaks... Yeah, there he is! Dude, that's so... That's actually bullshit from Soft. That's kind of bullshit, seriously. Like, instead of just having the guy do it right away, they make it now so you have to actually try to open the door. Oh, yeah, there's some bullshit here, too. Come on up. Actually, you know what? This is a little different, too, I think. Because I remember, like, a guy dropping down to knock you off a cliff. But I think that's... Oh, no, never mind, it's him. Okay, he's here. But yeah, that's so messed up just because the chance of you getting knocked off the cliff and dying to gravity is pretty high. Alright, so obviously that one guy is going to drop down here somewhere. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. This is the most dumbest shortcut in the game. And, you know, this game suffers from a lack of shortcuts. Like, there's very few shortcuts. Um, that was a real big problem. You have to understand something, too, about Dark Souls 2. Is that at the time, you could only compare Dark Souls 2 to Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls. That was it. And Demon Souls didn't really count. So, really, you would compare it to Dark Souls 1. And the way that they did the bonfires in Dark Souls 1 was, like, amazing. It was great. Absolutely awesome. So, like, when this game came out, there's just so many bonfires in so many different places. It's like, oh my god, there's so many bonfires. And literally, there's just no purpose of having shortcuts at all in a game like this. Just because they give you bonfire, like, so quick. You know, you go to one area, then literally, if you're just running through the area, less than five minutes later, there's a bonfire. Like, you can reach it, no problem. So... Really not a need for shortcuts, where in Dark Souls uh, 1, there was a lack of bonfires for long periods of time, so when you actually found the shortcut, it was like amazing. It's like, fuck yeah, dude, a shortcut, this is awesome. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure that one asshole can invade me here. I believe it is It is in this area. We gotta be careful not to be poisoned. I know there's a... Yep, there he is. Oh, God. Why, why did I aggro this guy? Ah, no! This is not good. This is really not good now. Alright, uh... We need to run away. Stupid freaking moths or whatever the fuck they are. Leave me be! I'm just trying to run away, be a smart guy, and chill over here. Let the guy come over. Oh my god, they're both coming. Ah, oh, Jesus. One cool... Oh, wow, he's stuck on the fat guy. Oh, fuck both you bitches! Ah! Alright, back it up, back it up. God, those guys hit hard. Alright, come on. What up? All right, you want some of this shit? Come on, bring it. Ah, I take it back. All right, all right, chill, chill. Torch guy, no. Why is the torch guy coming after me? Ah, dude, I'm sucking. I want your sword, man. It's fucking badass looking. All right, if you're just gonna block. Ah, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, I can't parry, man. I'm trying, but he's not letting me. All right, we're going to get him, though. There we go. Ah, Jesus. This should kill him, actually. Yep. <laughs> 1,100 damage. I think that will do it. Now, you know, once again, I'm not sure on how that works, but I'm pretty confident that you have to kill him, like, so many times, and then eventually you get all his stuff. I know you can get his weapon, his armor, and all that. So, yeah, I mean, that's really awesome. Okay, so we need to get the rest of these items. There's some freaking dead enemies in here. Ah, I die. I don't even know why I'm killing them. There's really no point. They're not a threat to me, but I'm scared. Okay, who's this? Uh, all right, it's Ray Ray. All right, well, we're not going to summon you, Ray. I'm going to try not to summon as much, guys. Like, I know that I've been doing that for a couple bosses. I did that in the Lost Center, which I really didn't want to, but unfortunately... It's like, if I want to do that one girl's storyline, I have to summon. Same with that um, guy with the fake Moonlight Butterfly Sword. Uh, that or Is it the Butterfly Moonlight Butterfly, or is it just the Moonlight Sword? I think it's Moonlight Butterfly. Somebody asked me, actually. I thought I seen an item. Oh, I guess there is an item. Somebody asked me about, like, you know, maybe I should use uh, the Moonlight Sword or whatever. And to be honest, I don't think I will just because... To get it, first of all, don't you have to uh, get the boss soul from New Game Plus? So you have to use a bonfire aesthetic on the spider, the giant spider boss. And the thing scales purely off of intelligence, which isn't really a problem, I guess. You well, know, maybe I will use it. I don't know. Because to actually use it properly, all I would have to really do is reset my build. And that's it. So that's really not a problem. All right, uh, we're just kind of running around exploring here. I don't know what is the right way. Okay, this is the right way. Yeah, this is the right way, so we don't want to go this way. Oh, that's right, actually. Hello, buddy. What are you doing chilling here? There's two bosses here. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, God. Well, one-shot city up in here. Soul Spear. That's an epic spell. And this should be what? Maybe a, um, bone dust? I want to say it is. Fuck yeah, it is. All right, that's going to make things a lot easier. So, cool. I want to go to the chariot boss, but I don't know. Like, I kind of need to, like, refresh my shit. Oh, God, that's right, these guys. You know, one thing about this weapon are these types of weapons. Oh, God, no. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is that, like, the power slam on these weapons is epic, but the follow-up is kind of a pointless thing. I, you really, like, I don't know, like, I don't, can you time it? Like, I don't think you can actually time it to actually ever hit the enemy. So what's better is to do that and then do this, because that's going to kill them, and there's nothing the enemy can do about that, like... You know, a person, like, a, in PvP can respond to that. Actually, yeah, it knocks people down in PvP as well. 
Um, can I go over there? I don't want to drop down. I'm going to die if I try that. But there's an item all the way over here. How do I get... Okay, we're going to drop down just to try to get to this item. What is this? And what path is this? Oh. Okay, never mind. That's right. That stoop... Well, I guess while I'm here, fuck it, right? Let's rest. But that item, you have to drop off the bridge to get down there, so... Yay. Alright, so here's the plan, by the way. You know, I said I want to get to the Iron Keep. Obviously, I'm not going to do that in one episode because I'm pretty sure I have to go through multiple areas to get there. So I think I'm going to fight the Chariot Boss in this episode, and then I'll probably end it. And in the next episode, we will actually get access to the girl, which is the point of me doing all this, is I want to get the girl. And then once I get her, okay, I'm still going the wrong way. Oh. Ah! Shit! Okay, whatever. Let's go. Move. Run. But once I get her, then I can, like, upgrade other weapons, you know? And one of the weapons will be the Claymore. Just putting that out there. Okay, let me kill this bastard because I don't want him chasing me. And I know that this area... Oh, my God. You didn't fall down. Okay. I always hated those guys. I really... And I still do. I, but, yeah, they're, they're fucking assholes. Seriously. They're really, really messed up. Oh god, that's right. This area is this area is fucked, dude. Ugh. Yeah, this area is so messed up because I remember like there's so many guys and they chase you. I, I believe on New Game Plus it's much, much worse. But I also remember like you wanna do this area on New Game Plus? There's some reason to do it. What the fuck is the reason though? I really don't remember. Like, this is... Oh, God. Fuck off. Oh, fuck it. Okay, maybe I'm just tripping. It might not be just New Game Plus. It's just this in general. Fucking outrageous, man. Look at this. Can't even move. Okay. Fuck it. Spin! Ah! Dude. That guy chased me, too. Oh, my God. Alright, well, I guess we're going to resort already to the jumping strat. Uh, there's no item I'm missing, I don't think. So if you don't know what this is, this is like the most epic thing you can do. Because this whole area is bullshit. What you do is you run from those assholes, you come over this way, and then you jump! And then you just chill right here. And you watch these bastards... Okay, and they just they just all walk off the cliff like a bunch of dummies. Well, maybe not. Well, I guess they're not. Some of them are. One of them did. But I think, you know, as long as you let them de-aggro like that, like far enough, they won't bother you. Because, you know, the problem here is the guy coming up. Like, we have to fight him. And, God, you know, the only thing I hate about this is, like, jumping back to the bridge is so scary, dude. It's so scary. Ah! Okay, because of that! Gravity I I hate this area. I I'm remembering now on how this fucking area is so bullshit. And now to get my souls, I'm gonna have to freaking do the jump again for sure. Which I'm just scared to do it. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, run! Ah! Got it? Oh my god, this freaking area, dude, it's so fucked up. Alright, so we're gonna chill here, we wanna heal up as well. Walk off the cliff! Die! Just die, all of you, die! There you go, there's one, bye-bye! Pop another one. Alright. Jumping back, man, it's so scary, but, like, I'm pretty sure you want to jump from, like, this angle, maybe. It's just, you gotta run, you know? It's like, yeah, Sekiro, man, why can't I jump? Alright, uh, I don't think you could parry great swords, right? So, we're not even gonna try that. Okay, we can't knock him down for some reason. Maybe it's the armor, I'm not sure. Alright, let's pop one of these. Alright, we're, you know what? I think you can parry great swords in this game. Oh, God! You! Seriously! That's so fucked, dude! Ugh. Oh my 
my god, that's so annoying! Now I'm on a bridge. Bridge of Doom! And these guys... I'm, I'm wielding a giant dragon tooth, dude, and he doesn't stun. Dude with no armor doesn't stun. Okay, okay. Back it up. That's so annoying, and the worst thing is the boss isn't like... It's not hard, but it's not like the easiest thing on the planet to deal with, so... I need my healing, man. I'm sorry, I'm a scrub. Fuck you, bitch! Just die! Alright, you want some... Ah, I take it back! I don't want none. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on. Come, come at me! Ah! That was actually kind of epic. Alright, um... Oh, God. There's actually a cutscene for this boss, which is interesting, because not many bosses get cutscenes in this game. I kind of remember how to do the fight, though. Alright! Let's do it. Jesus. Alright! We gotta run like a motherfucker! And then the main thing is to actually take cover. And... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. The main thing is to roll! Right through the shit, alright? So we don't have to take cover. That's right. I remember that. Oh, yeah. I need to learn score for this. Da! That's right. Learning score is the shit for this. Okay, I went way too far. Pull the freaking thing! Uh, fuck off, skeletons! Okay, horsey down. Ah, I still got hit. Oh, that's right. There's, there's so much bullshit. This... Fucking stupid, man. Fuck you, horsey. Bitch-ass skeletons need to die. Get on somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dork magic, man. Yeah, get kill this couple. Kill him. Oh, God, they're being brought back. That's right. Okay, I gotta kill the stupid sorcerer to murder these... Ah! Everything is so frustrating in this fucking game. I swear to God. All right. Die. There we go. We need to hear! Back the fuck up! Get away from all the bullshit. Oh god, yeah, yeah, do the magic, do the magic. Yeah, yeah, magic, I like it. Murder, murder! Ah, oh, stop! That's fucking... I hate that so much, dude. I hate being killed from being stun-locked by 50 fucking enemies. It's just not fun. It's not fun, I'm sorry. Murder these fucking skeletons. See, my strategy, or the strategy, is to use an alluring skull. And then you don't have to deal with the goddamn fucking idiot-ass skeletons. At all. You don't. Fucking skeletons, man! I hate them. I hate them so much. If you've ever seen me ever play a game, you know I hate them. Because I've always complained about fucking skeletons. They are the worst. Absolute fucking worst. Horse shit. Fuck off! I'm about to switch weapons, dude. I need to switch weapons. I'm sorry. But, like, I can't deal with these fast moving, fast swinging, bitch ass skeletons with this slow ass fucking weapon, man. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's do this now. Uh, uh, now we can fight the boss. Isn't that awesome? Alright. Fuck you, pony. Just get fucked. Kick me in my face. Yeah. Go ahead. I knew that was coming. Okay. Ah. Headbutt the fuck out of me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going through all of them. I don't care. Fuck this boss. Fuck this boss and his stupid horsey ass, dude. Alright. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's the move I want. Ah! Roll through that shit. All right, we're not we're not doing the, the thing. That still hit me, man. I'm I'm by your front paws or hoofs or whatever the fuck they are. Oh my god. Well, this episode's demonetized. Um, that's for sure. All right. Oh, I'm getting hit. You know, stamina. You know, it's fine. It's fine though. It's fine. Whatever. I'm doing it. I I'm powering through. That's what matters. One smack. Oh my god, can you not hit me? Like, once. I would appreciate that. Okay, there we go. Fuck you. Oh my god. Stupid garbage. 
All right. I'm pretty sure everything here is dumb. There's really nothing worth it. There's a couple items. I think this thing up here is all right. Okay, I'm so glad this episode is over and I said I was going to end it here. Oh, I completely forgot on how annoying the, chari the chariot boss is. It's not really the boss, though. You know, it's everything else. Like, I, I completely, completely forgot about the skeletons in this fight. Because normally it's not that bad. I think everything here is a fading soul, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're just going. Fuck off. Uh-uh. It's not worth it. It's like 100 souls. It's not worth it. But um, anyway, so here's the point, right? Basically, what you do is you have an alluring skull, and you throw it, like, back there. And then you run over here. You kill the stupid sorcerer thing, summoner. And I think at that point, you don't even have to deal with the skeletons. They just won't bother you. They just stay on the other side. So it's nice. It's super fucking nice. All right. You know, I don't remember. I think to reset this boss, don't you have to use the thing here, maybe? I don't even know. I'm not doing it. I don't, I don't care, so. All right, Um. I guess I'll talk to this bastard and join this covenant. What is it? Oh, you two are long home. This place won't be any fun. Not for you. What is it? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, um, I, I don't even know what to do. I think you have to maybe invade someone to join that covenant. I'm not sure. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. Alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope that you have enjoyed my rage. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos if you're not subscribed. And make sure to click the bell if you want to stay notified when these videos come out so you know when I upload them. Since it's not completely consistent, it's not going to be every single day. But I'm going to try to, you know, go back on that daily schedule. So hopefully I can keep up with it. But that's going to do it for me. I really hope that everyone has a very nice day. And poo so.